In this video, you'll see how to monitor your AWS resources using Amazon CloudWatch dashboards. You can monitor multiple resources at once, view automatic dashboards that can be dynamically filtered, or create your own custom dashboards. CloudWatch dashboards are customizable pages in the CloudWatch console that you can use to monitor your resources in a single view. In an operations role, Dashboards are used to display key information quickly and efficiently. We'll show you how easy it is to create a dashboard in CloudWatch. To get started, let's open the CloudWatch Management Console and navigate to the Metrics page. Dashboards allow you to visualize your CloudWatch metrics and logs insight queries on a variety of widgets. You can include metrics from your different AWS services on your dashboards. For example, you can include metrics for a specific instance of a service, such as Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud EC2 instance metrics. You can also display aggregated metrics across multiple instances, such as an EC2 auto-scaling group. Many services provide an automatic dashboard already populated with metrics. To access this type of dashboard, hover over the metric category to see the View Automatic Dashboard link. Let's take a look at the automatic dashboard for the Amazon Relational Database service. Next, let's view the automatic dashboard for Amazon Elastic Block Store. Let's use the automatic dashboard for EC2 instances to learn more about how dashboards work. For each metric on a graph, you can hover over an instance name in the legend to see more details about that instance. You can also filter the entire dashboard to just one instance by clicking on the instance name. You can filter the time range shown on the dashboard using absolute or relative time values. You can also adjust how data is shown on the graphs by opening the Actions menu and changing the Period Override setting. Instead of using the default 5-minute value, we'll change this setting to show data for every minute. This capability enables you to see more or less data points on the graph, so you can analyze the performance of your instances with increased or decreased resolution. You can also click and drag to select a region of a graph to zoom in on. Notice how all the graphs on the dashboard also zoomed in. When you scroll through the chart, the other graphs stay synchronized to the time period you are viewing. If you don't want all the graphs to stay synchronized, simply open the Actions menu and deselect the Link Graph checkbox. In addition, you can also create custom dashboards directly from these automatic dashboards. To do this, select Add to Dashboard. You can specify an existing dashboard you wish to add on to, or create a new one. Let's take this cloned automatic dashboard, create a new one from it, give it a name, and add it to our new dashboard. At this point, you can add widgets and conduct further customizations to your cloned dashboard. Now let's see how to create a new custom dashboard from scratch. To get started, Click the Create Dashboard button and give the dashboard a name. Dashboards are built using widgets, which can contain different types of data visualizations. Let's select this line graph widget to add to the dashboard. Now, we need to select a metric to graph. Let's find an EC2 per instance metric. We're going to select the CPU utilization metric for a specific server we want to monitor. As you can see, this metric also includes an anomaly detection band, which will be included in the widget when it gets added to the dashboard. Let's look at the graph options. Annotations can be used to mark the beginning and end of an operational event or to highlight a deployment time. Let's add a vertical annotation to highlight the deployment time. Let's specify the timestamp we want the label to highlight. 
Now let's create the widget. The widget is already graphing CPU utilization. We can resize it to make it easier to read. We can also edit the name of this widget to make it more descriptive. Let's add another widget. This time, we'll select a number widget. In this case, we'll select the CPU utilization metric for an entire EC2 auto scaling group. Let's resize this widget and add another one. Let's add a query results widget. Here, we just need to construct the query we want to include in the widget. We'll specify our virtual private cloud or VPC flow logs and then select a query to include. Just like that, we've added data from three different AWS services to one dashboard. You can also add text to your dashboards by using the text widget. This widget lets you add and format text using Markdown, so you can include freeform content on your dashboards. In this case, let's use it to include a link to a second dashboard. Now we can access the second dashboard right from here. You can also view and directly edit the source code for your dashboards. And if you want, you can copy the source code and use it to recreate the entire dashboard in a different AWS account. You've just seen how to monitor your resources using CloudWatch dashboards. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.